Hello, and welcome to the Slip Slip Sis podcast. I'm Che, half of your Slip Slip Sis duo, coming to you from the special location of the other Slip Slip Sisters home. I'm actually joined by two other guests. They're just over there. But this is labor number three of the labors of Nitkiles, and I am up, up, pardon me, for the hind of Serenia. So I totally don't remember the story for this whatsoever, but... The theme comes down to doing something that seems impossible. So challenging myself to do a project that I'm pretty confident isn't going to work out and basically morale is low. So I have this in, I'm getting ready for like our spooky season. So I've got my villain, Disney villains bag here that either my sister or my dad made for me. I think this is dad. This is giving, this is giving dad vibes. I don't think so. Oh, just kidding. This is Gab's. I remember now having to cut this. So that was definitely Gab's because daddy doesn't make me cut. Um, so what I'm doing is attempting to make a pair. So here, here's the approach that I took to how I was setting up my labor for this project is what would Gab's do that would stress me out? So, oh, we have a special guest. Hello, little hand. Um, so... What I'm doing is an attempt to make DK socks out of sport weight yarn that I don't know how much I have of. So I'm going to have to like, in my mind, adjust the pattern to what I think is gonna oh work God, out for the sock. I, I may or may not have enough yarn. Oh, I can. And it may or may not fit. So we will see how it goes. I cannot remember the name of this yarn. I feel like it was something like persimmon or cantaloupe, but it is from, I can No, I don't think it's creative mind. Gab, he's trying to help me. I, I, I inspire mind. Inspire a mind. mind. I was like, it's I A M. Inspire a mind. Um, the dyer. I believe they are still on Etsy. Um, so I used this for my yeah. witchling sweater, which was a test knit by Tristan of Dragon Horde yarn. And <laughs> so we'll see how this goes throughout this process. So I think what I'm going to do is I typically cast on 40 stitches for my size for. Lottie just landed on my foot for um, DK socks. But since it's sport weight, I think I'm going to have to do 48 instead. So we're going to start with that and see how it goes. So here we go. Well, I've started off super strong on this whole, I don't think I'm going to have enough yarn, so I don't want to waste any by having this very long tail. <laughs> yeah, I was just laughing at me, but I don't feel like recasting well, you know it on. Is no! What I do is that you just leave the tail, but if you really need it at the end, you graft the tail back onto it. Mm, I hate her. that. <laughs> I'm going to cut it. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to, because I did not weigh, and I'm purposely not weighing, so that it remains a mystery and stressor for some of us, how much is here, but we are going to do a group guess. So my sister has very helpfully offered this plum for scale. It is 94 grams. Okay, great. Don't forget so, to give that back to my sister. Okay, we won't forget to give it back to Lenny. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the plum in this hand and this in this hand. Mm, this, mm. Is, uh, this is heavier. Good. I'm gonna go with this was initially 64 grams. And I knit this much of it? Yeah, I, I don't think I can, that's fine. Okay. All right, Shay. 64, yes. well. Hold this. Here. We'll switch. No, hold on. I'm feeling it. Okay, now give me the thing. I'm going to guess 72. Okay. Lottie. Lottie. Would you like to guess how many grams this was? Two 100. Two 100? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent guess. We'll find out later. So I have finished my first sock of this labor. I think it turned out pretty well. I followed what I normally do for vanilla DK socks 
typically the only change is that I did cast on the 48 instead of my normal 40, but I did 30 um, rounds for my leg. Obviously slip stitch heel flap, gusset decreases, and then I usually do about 25 for my foot. I am a women's US seven and a half, so I think it worked out pretty good. And so it came out really nice. I haven't tried it on yet. I literally just finished it and I already have shoes on because uh, I need to take off um, for my next work visit. But I feel good about how it turns out. The orange is still wild to me. I did have to borrow Magic Loop, which y'all know if you've been watching for a while, this is not my favorite thing to do. I forgot my DPNs, um, my size three DPNs because that's the needle size I use for DK. And I usually do nine inch circular. I always do nine inch circulars for my socks, but you can't use those for the toe because um, it wins you decrease, it's too little. So I borrowed my sister's US threes on Magic Loop. I suffered through it. I do have like a good amount of yarn left. So I don't think I'm going to run out, but you know, I don't actually know how much I use and I am not measuring this. So we will see how it goes. I have to head out, but I will soon cast on sock number two. All right, so I have just completed the heel flap on the second sock and I was feeling confident about the amount of yarn when I started sock number two but now looking at this and feeling it I am not feeling as confident as I was when I started it so I actually I don't know maybe my my, my sister is better at, at yarn chicken than I am I am not feeling great about this I I mean I still have to do the heel turn, the gusset decreases, the foot and the toe, and it doesn't feel like there's really that much left. Maybe I just like don't know. I often don't use sport weight, so I don't have a great gauge of like how much is typically left. So I don't feel great about, I mean like worst case scenario, like I lose yarn chicken and I just feel in the toe, but then I don't know if I can like donate it to the accessory drive if the toe doesn't match so that would be a big bummer and then I'd have really 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 orange socks but it's fine so I don't know I don't know that doesn't feel like very much but nothing I can do now okay I am doing a little bit of knitting before work starts and I discovered I did something bad so <laughs> usually when I make DK socks, I do 40 stitches and I had cast on 48 for um, this sock because it was, I'm doing sport weight. And so I wanted to have like, I thought I might, I might need a little bit extra. Okay. Everything goes swimmingly on sock one. I am now blazing through sock two because I'm a little bit behind on the challenge and I wanted to get it done and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing when I put my front half on my DPNs and then did the heel entire heel flap, I will say. Um, so you're supposed to do it half and half, right? So 48 divided by two is 24. Yes, well, Chaley usually does 40, so that's divided by two is 20. So I have 20 on the front, 28 on the back. So this is a very, um, little extra wide heel flap and I didn't discover it till I started doing the heel turn and the number wasn't working out for like evenness on either side. So here's what's gonna happen. I am not tearing out this entire heel flap. That is not part of my journey. What I am going to do is tear out or go um, knit back on my heel turn and knit the heel turn for it being um, 28 stitches across the back and then I will just make it work after that. So a um, little bit of a hiccup there. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen like that trending like reel or TikTok that's like when you pick up crocheting and knitting no one tells you that you suddenly learn that you don't know how to count. This girl. This girl right here. Well here we are. Wouldn't be a challenge if it wasn't challenging. Okie dokes, I have made it through the foot, was able to adjust uh, <laughs> after my issues, 
there with the heel flap. I just did the gusset decreases until I got to the proper um, stitch count around and then I just adjusted um, where my beginning of round was to make sure that I would end up even um, once I was ready to now do the toe, which is where I am at. And I have this much yarn left. So I think it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay. I don't know if it's going to be okay. Um, maybe it was kind of my fault because I did the extra on the heel flap, but I would have been more confident. But alas, here we are. So let's see how it goes with just finishing off the toe of the second sock. Alrighty, I have finished the socks. But before I do the big reveal, let's review what the situation was. So the goal was to do something that seemed impossible. So it was, my attempt was to make DK weight socks out of sock, or not sock, out of sport weight yarn, adjusting it to what I think will probably fit me. And I didn't know how much yarn I had. Seems ridiculous. And it truly did feel ridiculous. So before I show you all what happened, which team were you? Were you team Chayla, you totally got this? Or were you team Nah, girl? It did not, it did not pan out. All right, put a comment down below to cast in where your vote is. So to start us off as, hopefully you've paused this video, uh, to put your um, comment down below. First, first thing was, was I able to finish the sock without running out of yarn? And the answer is yes, I finished both socks and I have, I was able to use the same yarn for all of it. Now, do you think I had yarn left? That is an important question. What do you all think? Do we think I just made it? Actually, I had a ton left or something else. What do we think? What do we think? The answer is I had this much left. A fair amount, however, not a ton. So I did weigh everything after I finished. And since I used all of just um, one yarn for each of these socks, I was able to just weigh them to figure out how much they weigh. And they came out to 60 grams total I used for the socks and I had six grams left. Plenty, plenty, plenty yarn left. Now I haven't actually tried them on. So I'm gonna attempt to try these on and somehow hold them up for you all. These socks aren't going to be for me. Again, they are for um, the Knit the Rainbow Accessory Drive hosted by Gary Knits Gary Rides. So I'm going to donate them, but I am a women's size seven and a half. So that typically, I think that's a pretty average size um, for a lot of folks. So hopefully this will fit one of the people who benefits um, from the accessory drive. But here is the fit. It's pretty good, I would say. Good length, I think it's a little loose um, in kind of like the ankle area. So that probably actually could have been 40, but I think it's right. I think it turned out pretty good adjusting to 48 and doing everything, you know, basically in pattern if I had done DK socks but with 48 stitches on. And I don't know, can you tell? Which one, I guess you can kind of tell, which one is the one where I messed up the heel flap because this one has a significantly more heel flap than this one. I wonder if I try this sock on, if it will fit different. Now, pretty much the same, pretty much the same fit, a little loose in the top part, but good in the foot and ankle. So, or yeah, the foot kind of like heel gusset area. So. I think it turned out pretty good. It was kind of a stressful labor, I will say, especially when I messed up this sock, but I am excited that I was able to complete it and to use up one of my partial skeins um, that had been sitting for quite a bit. For these leftovers, I will basically fudge it a little bit and add these into a DK scrappy blanket that I have yet to start, but I am collecting the scraps for. So. Thank you so much for joining me on labor number three, the hind of Serenia, um, for the 
12 labors of Nitkilis and labor complete. Stay tuned to see my sister complete labor number four.